In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add and subtract integers. So in my first example, notice I have a problem that involves both addition and subtraction. What I would like you to do first is go through and any place there's a subtraction, we're going to want to change that subtraction to an addition problem. And remember that any time we change from subtraction to addition, it requires two steps. So first, let's identify the places where we have subtraction. This is an addition problem. This is negative 3 plus negative 5. That's an addition problem. Here, however, we have a subtraction problem. So here's one of the places I need to make a change. This is a negative 5 minus a negative 6. Here's another place where I have a subtraction problem. I'm subtracting a 7. So as I go through and change these subtractions to addition, I have to do that in two places. Where I don't need to make a change, I'm just going to write the problem down as it stands. So I come down to the next line, copy this stuff down because that was an addition problem. Now I've come to the point where I need to change subtraction to addition. And again, that's a two-step process. So subtraction now becomes addition. And what I always need to do when I make that change now is I need to add this number's opposite. Well, it was a negative 6, so when I add its opposite, it's going to become a positive 6. Here's another case where I need to change subtraction. So I'm going to change subtraction to addition, and now I'm going to add this number's opposite. Notice this was a positive 7 before, so come down here, I'm going to need to make that a negative 7. Now I've changed all of the operations in the problem to addition. Now I'm ready to go through step by step, add these integers together. So a negative 3 plus a negative 5 is going to give me a negative 8. I write the answer to that problem and then copy everything else down. Okay, next step. A negative 8 plus a positive 6. Notice these are different, or opposites, so cancellation is going to occur. I have more negatives, so I'm going to end up with a negative 2. Bring down the rest of the problem. And then the last step is a negative 2 plus a negative 7. So when I add these together, I'm going to get a negative 9. Okay. Notice the way that I've organized my problem. Half the battle here is just organizing the problem. I started out and I went step by step working my way down to the problem. When you solve problems like this, or problems that we're going to study next, which are order of operations, you want to work your way down to a single answer. Um, your problem kind of should look like an upside down Christmas tree if you organize it correctly. Hopefully this video was helpful.